Hello guys, welcome to Clean Review. Samsung recently released AI features through UI 6.1 update to S22 Ultra. Update was smooth and I didn't face any major issues. I can only see some battery drying issues so far. This update has lot of new AI features. In this video, we'll be talking about all those features in detail. Imagine you have this picture with you. You want to check more details about this furniture setup. You can use new AI feature called circle to search. Hold navigation bar to enter into this option. Then circle around the center table here. Now we have all website links for different center tables with similar design. To improve results, let us extend this box here to provide more details. Now we have exact product link from Amazon. This way shopping will become easy. Similarly, let us do for recliner. And here you got all related details and many other options. This feature also works well with small objects like flower vase. Circle to search can be used for text too. For example, you want more details about wood that used in this coffee table. Enter into this option by holding navigation bar. And circle the text. And trim required part. Here we go, we have all the information about wood. This helps to check details like quality, origin, etc. This option is only available in Samsung browser. For example, I am searching for best 5G mobiles under 20,000. And I got few results through Google. And I opened one of the websites. Here there are a lot of options. I need to summarize this content. I'll just click on this icon at bottom and select summarize. This will give quick note about the content in this link which helps to find popular brands, common mobile features, top selling mobiles etc. Other use cases are while you are searching for some blocks for example hair care routine and to get overall idea about what block says you can use this option to summarize content. And while you are shopping for shoes under 500 and need to know best brands under this range you can use this option. I have this paper way text is in some other foreign language. To translate this, I will just take picture of it using camera app by clicking T icon at left. This will give translate option at bottom, which helps to translate entire context to English. Other use case is if you want to translate text inside image while you are on some app. This takes screenshot and T icon appears at left. Click there to get options. Now click on translate. All text will be translated to English. For example, you are in hurry and you are noting list of grocery items to buy with incorrect spellings. To correct this, you can use this note assist feature. Just select all and click on icon at bottom and select correct spelling. There you go, all words are spelled correctly now. Either you can copy or replace original text. Similarly, you have to send mail to HR regarding your first round of interview and some other details of your work experience. You can make sure you have all words spelled correctly before sending by using this note assist feature. Now we will see summarize option in note assist. This is script for one of my YouTube videos. I need some summary to add in description while uploading my video. So for this, I will select entire text and click on icon at bottom and select summarize that's it i got my description for my video there is one more option to format entire text by dividing into sections and adding bullets with different styles let me copy message that i need to send to hr regarding my first round exam this message looks more casual I need to format it into professional way before sending. For this, I will select entire text and click on icon on left and select writing style. This will give a lot of options like professional, casual, social, etc. I will select professional. Now this text looks more professional than earlier one. This feature can also be used in social media apps. For example, I need to tweet regarding a review video about new Samsung phone. I can use writing style option to format original text. This looks more better with emojis and hashtags.
This photo was captured at OTT Gardens. I just want to move myself upwards from current position. Click on edit. Now select AI option. Now long press an object or person to get selected. Now it can be moved anywhere in picture. After editing, click on generate to recreate new image. AI helps to fill shallow places during this process. Here you can see the difference. Here is another photo. There are a lot of people at background. I want to remove them using AI feature. Click on edit. Now select AI option. Now zoom and tap on person or object. And long press to get erase option at top. And click there to remove. You can also draw our own person or object to select more accurately. Long press to get erase icon or top. Click to remove. After editing, click on generate to recreate new image. AI automatically fills shallow places from the nearby areas. Here you can see the difference. Only drawback is Samsung adds watermark at bottom for edited picture using AI option. Some standard editing suggestions will be shown when you click I in gallery under each image. For this image, here you can see background blur and remaster options are available. Click remaster image. AI automatically enhances picture to look better. This is before and after AI changes. Other suggestion is to make background blur. You can even select level here. You can save this image as a separate copy. Now you can make stickers out of images. Long press person or object to get options. Save as sticker. Some standard styles will pop up. Select any style and click done. This saved stickers can be accessed from Samsung keyboard under emojis option. I have this video where I need to trim some part and apply some slow motion at starting of video. Click on edit and select area to trim. And now click on adjust speed. Select speed level. Drag to adjust area to apply speed level. This is new feature. Now we can save as a new copy with these changes. There are some other features like summarizing voice recordings, converting voice recording to text and some customization related features. I'll try to make one more video for that. Thanks for watching. If you are new, please subscribe to this channel.